All right, well, clearly just by how this video is beginning, you can see that we are back here and things have not gone as well as I anticipated with my Toyota pickup. So if I recall correctly where we left off, I was very optimistic about the baffle upgrade and all this stuff. Um, I drove my truck about a thousand miles with the adjustable PCV stuff and the kind of, you know, thing I did down there with the baffle and all that. And it, it's just a mystery. I, uh, I have gotten it to where on the, on the over a thousand mile trip down south, uh, it only used about, it only drew about two ounces, I think it was 67 milliliters of oil into the, uh, the catch can, which I have removed right now. Um, and then when I got home, I added, I checked the oil and it was down about half a quart. So I added 16 ounces of oil exactly. And I drove 19 miles to the store and back to get dinner. And when I got home, there was four ounces of oil in the catch can. Like, what the F? Um, so, as a result of that, I'm kind of scratching my head here. And the only thing I can figure is that perhaps the last little section of the camshaft, which sticks out. And you can see, if you look at my old video versus, you can see I've... I've taken this little end and bent it up and hammered it flat in an effort to kind of block off this area. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm, I'm attempting to cover this little area of the camshaft because I have a suspicion that my increased oil flow may be causing this area of the camshaft to sling oil up and have it pooling on the roof of the valve cover and working its way down and being and and thus being sucked up by the PCV valve. Now, I may or may not know what I'm talking about here, but I did take off the baffle and as you can see, it, it had a good seal around the uh with the ultra black. I'm going to have to clean that up. Another thing I kind of noticed was this little baffle had been kind of squeezed together and that resulted in this part here not really making all that good of a contact with this part of the valve cover and so I'm wondering if oil was able to get up and over there and get drawn in because this part of the baffle wasn't kind of acting as a block or a scraper maybe I don't know see that seemed like kind of a long shot <laughs> in any event what I've decided to do here um I've decided to take some of this stainless steel mesh that I had laying around and I'm going to make like a little accordion baffle material and put it in here. I, I was going to use the green uh, scraper material I showed in the other video, but I, just not really. It doesn't sit well with me to have something that could disintegrate inside the motor and work its way into the oiling system. So I, I think I'm going to give this a shot. And the idea is that perhaps this being up will block some of the oil coming up. And... Any oil that's drawn this way, uh, if I have a, a little baffle system here made out of this stuff, it will help the oil vapor uh, from the crankcase coalesce and drip back down this little kind of return trough. So we'll see if that works. Um, and like I say, the only thing I can really think is by adding the 16 ounces of oil, maybe it brought the level up in the oil pan to where the, the crank shaft lobes could hit it and stir up a mist or something. I, I don't know. Frankly, I, I'm really curious to see what the final resolution of this is all going to be. So I just wanted to put kind of toss a video up on YouTube with a with an update and I'll, I'm going to make some modifications to the baffle here. And then I'm going to uh, mess around with the orifice restriction right here and try to adjust the uh, vacuum levels. I will say that uh, when on my return trip, I was having, it seemed like the truck didn't have a lot of power. I stopped at the gas station and I adjusted the PCV system to where I was getting more like two or three inches of vacuum 
uh, while driving and suddenly, wow, I had power all over the map. I was going up uh, a couple thousand foot incline over the hills and passing people like they were standing still. So, you know, there's been some glimmer of, of kind of hope here. Uh, there's no longer large amounts of oil showing up on my spark plugs, so that's, you know, a step in the right direction. I'm going to double check the valves. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a slight misfire, and I, I'm wondering if one of the valves is a little out of adjustment. So I'm going to check that. Uh, so anyways, that's kind of where things stand. Um, I'll, uh, once, I, once I finish this baffle modification stuff, I'll... And I'll see if I can make heads or tails out of things and post a following update. I will say this: I, <clears throat> when I build the three RZ turbo motor, I'm I'm definitely going to run a uh, I'm definitely going to run a uh, a four stage dry sump system because this PCV stuff is for the birds. I gotta say. All right, thanks for watching. Any questions? Use the comment section below, and um, that's kind of where things stand. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video if you liked it. And uh, well, whatever you do, do not dislike the video. Oh, YouTube doesn't like that anymore. I think they even took the dislike button away or something. So, uh, And definitely subscribe because we're getting dangerously close to 4,500 members on the channel. Okay, uh, more, informa more information coming. And uh, that's a wrap for now.